All right, guys, so this one is a Perry, Perry Holmes. We're in, uh, we're like right next to Katy, Texas, right outside of Katy, Texas. So I just wanna show you guys this, this property. This property is about a little bit under 600,000 in Texas. It's uh, super awesome. So this one is, how you doing? Double doors. We're at the uh, sales office right now. But I just want to kind of show you guys what the property looks like. So once you walk in, it has the, um, this could be an office. This could be, this could be a little den, whatever you want to do with it. So this would be where the garage would be. So we're walking in right now. On the right, you'll have the, this is the area where you can do the laundry. Laundry area is always nice. What I like about this plan is very wide. It's very open. And it's very long. As soon as you open the door, you can just see it's, it's a beautiful home. This right here is a little dining area. Amazing. What's going on, guys? Beautiful kitchen. I like that this has the the island as well as this little place where you could sit down and eat. That's really awesome. Super cool, super cool. Fridge. It's another little family dining area, which is amazing. So now I'm gonna go towards the, one of the bedrooms. This would be like the guest bathroom. Super awesome bedroom right here. What I like about Texas, <clears throat> Everything's so big. Like, you always hear that all the time, and it sounds like... <clears throat> it's like the granny unit, right? Like, if you have, like, the grandparents or something, you want to have a room downstairs. I think the master bedroom is downstairs as well. This is cool. They got a gamer. This is a, Oh, this is a one-story. That's right. So everything's downstairs. This is cool. Cool little game room. <clears throat> this is probably what I would have in my game room. I love this game. The air hockey. Super cool. I want to get something. This is Jordan Ranch, by the way. I forgot to tell you, this is super dope. The thing that's cool about these places, <coughs> excuse me, guys, getting over a cold. They are called the master plan communities. <clears throat> master plan communities, uh, you have the schools really, really close by. You have everything is really close by, which is awesome, right? Elementary school, high school, middle schools, all close by. They have um, all these different pools. They have like fitness centers and it's all within, it's all within the community. So you don't, you never really have to leave the community. It's amazing. So I'm guessing this one right here is the, yeah, this is, this got to be the master. It's got to be the master. Look at this. Amazing. What's going on, guys? In the master bathroom. Wow. Wow. Look at the walk in tub. You guys like this? Fit like two or three people. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party. Hey. Lin oh, I thought this was a linen closet. I like the fact that they put a door here. 
<coughs> excuse me, bought a property in Springs, Spring, Texas, about 40 minutes away from Houston. And they had like, you know, the bathroom separate situation, but it didn't have a door. I thought that was weird. Weird. Okay, this is amazing. Walk-in closet. Amazing. Super cool. So I saw two bedrooms so far. Let me go see where the other bedrooms are. Perry Homes. So we did saw that bedroom already. See the fridge. That's the garage right there. Okay. So I see two bedrooms. So where are the other bedrooms located? So I think the other bedrooms, so this would be, this would be another bedroom. Oh, so these would be two bedrooms right here. This is the office space, but this would be another bedroom. So this would be four bedroom place. So take a look outside. What do you guys like? Um, what would you like in your like dream backyard? <clears throat> the patio space is amazing. Look at this. This is huge. Got the lights outside. It's kind of dope. What would you guys like in your dream backyard? You want a big backyard? You want a small backyard? Some people want a small backyard. They don't have to worry about all the cleanup. You know what I mean? Mowing the lawn. If you have kids, you want to, you want, you want, let me want a big backyard because of the kids, right? This looks amazing. Shout out to the young trees. Looks amazing, guys. Texas is amazing. Texas has a lot of great properties. They're huge. You just feel like, you feel like you're in like a, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but it just, it feels amazing. Look at this patio. Super dope. The only thing I think is missing in this patio is like maybe like a barbecue spot, a TV somewhere over here. That will be dope. What do you guys think? So guys, I'm gonna show you guys a couple more properties. Right now I'm just, I'm over here in Texas. I'm having a good time. Seeing some things. I'm learning a lot of stuff. I know I haven't caught up with you guys in a minute, but I'm on that young and grown. You guys know I'm young and grown, which means I'm young, but I'm doing a lot of grown things buying properties, uh, investments, different things, you know? Even though we're young, we can still try to accomplish things. Sorry for this, the vibe of this video is so cool and chill. It's beautiful out here, guys, and uh, <coughs> getting over a cold. I've been working on it. But this backyard is amazing, it's beautiful. This place is amazing. I'm in Texas, I'm in the Houston area, uh, north of Houston, you know? One of my biggest, um, one of my biggest things is I, I went to make that wasn't, gonna have to deal with the flooding and I know Houston has uh, has that problem this backyard is huge man kids can definitely have a great time back here amazing 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 you can just tell they put a lot of uh, work into making these properties so I'm gonna try to show you guys a lot more properties uh, leave some leave some comments what do you guys like you know what kind of what would be your dream home what, what, what are your must-haves what is something that you must have like for me one of my must-haves is I, I gotta have a, I gotta have a theater room, right? I love movies, uh, family room. I think that's amazing. Um, I want to have a gym. It's important. Water camera right here. I gotta have a gym. Um, what else? What else? Um, I, I gotta have a big backyard. I want to have a basketball court in my backyard. I have a huge basketball court. Um, I want to have a. I'm not really. I don't know how I feel about a pool. That would be nice. Do you guys want a pool in your place? A pool sounds good. A pool would be great. Um, I definitely want like a play area for the kids. I want basically my house to be everything I need is here. Everything I could possibly need is already here so the kids don't have to leave. But these areas are master plan communities. <clears throat> Schools are nearby. You know your neighbors, you know everybody. So this is definitely a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spot. But leave some comments, guys. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think about these properties and also what your dream property would be.
I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Jacques Wolf. All right, guys, so right now we're driving around. I want to show you guys some amazing homes. Yeah, that's about the size of this. Thing. That is, if I get, yeah. if I but get you this, you wouldn't have a cedar print. You wouldn't have. I know you said you. If yeah, you don't, but this lot size is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, but if you wanted to be on the water, this would be what your fence would look like. Hi. How are you? Hi. This lot size is amazing. I could just tell from the from the back that it's just like, it's it goes so far in there, and it's just such a beautiful. And the thing you're telling me about the elevation on these properties, this elevation is the one that I want for sure. It just looks like a huge, huge property. So, guys, we're in we're in Texas right now. Is this is this area considered? It's not considered Katy, but it's. Fulcher, Fulcher, Texas. So we're gonna do a walkthrough on one of these right now. And this is a two car garage. Three car. Three car garage. These are amazing. This one's gonna be a five bedroom, three bath as well. Five bedroom, four and a half. Five bedroom, four and a half bath. So this is kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and look through this. How do I? You can go crazy, maybe go into the garage. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Just to get a feeling of, um, and this is that long garage thing we're, we're talking about, right? We can park two cars here, park the other car here as well. So you walk in, it has this area where you can take your shoes off, put your stuff here, put your, um, your keys. And is this is usually the, the laundry area, the laundry room. Mm -hmm. This is like a mini bathroom. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm starting to know the plans now. This is the mud room. Area. They call it the mud room. Okay, so this is the living room area and it's huge. And it's huge. So to the right. And this is that linear fireplace. Oh yes, 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 yes. This is the more, the more modern fireplace. <clears throat> but it still has a high ceiling. And if you, if you want, you mentioned tiling it up. You could tile it up if you wanted to. Okay. But this would be standard in this land that ours. This is electric, correct? Yeah, it's gas. Oh, it is gas fireplace. So this room right here, is this still the garage? Yeah, it's a guest bedroom. Okay, this would be a guest bedroom. Wow. And the guest bedroom will also have a guest bathroom. Amazing. This model is 36? It's a 36. Okay. All right. The master will be in the back because it has a view, right? <clears throat> and they have like, they have like a little, the water thing that's back here. Is it considered like a pond? That's amazing. Okay, so the 4090 uh, will be a lot, a lot longer, deep, a lot deeper, correct? Okay. So this one has the, the island. It doesn't have the other thing like the other property had. What do you call that? Uh, the breakfast nook thing? That's correct. But it does have the high ceilings um, and it has that, what do you call it, the circle? Okay. Amazing. So this would probably be like the office, right? When you come in through the front door, uh, it'll be like an office on the left side, or there'll be like, like 
an extra room on the right side. So we're just going upstairs right now. And this is just, you know, this, this property is under construction, but this is just giving you the idea of the, of the feel of the layout. It's one thing to look at it on paper. It's another to come here and actually touch it. To the right. Okay, so they call this. Does this one have a Jack and Jill? Yes. Okay, so this is this is like a middle bathroom area. This will be like another awesome room. This might be like a game room because I don't see. A oh, there's a closet right here. So that's great. And then they have. This will be like maybe like a game room, or yeah, this would be like a game room. And through these double doors, this would be like the, um, what was it, the, the theater room. The theater room through these double doors. Okay. Through the balcony, you can see everything that's going down on the kitchen, everything that's going down down here. And then they have the Jack and Jill room, which is kind of like, when I first saw this, I, I compared it to like a, what do you call it? Like a, a dorm room, right? You share the you share the bathroom in the middle. So there's one room here. There's one one room on the other side, and you share the little bathroom in the middle. There's a bathroom in the middle, so there'll be a door here. So this guy has a sink. There'll be like a toilet right here. Well, actually, this is this is his closet. He'll have a sink and closet, and here there'll be the toilet, right? There'll be this area to take a shower, and they'll put the toilet right here. And in this room, this room will also have a, a sink and a closet as well. They call these Jack and Jill. So basically, the kids, the kids will share the bathroom in the middle. I think that's pretty cool, especially when they go to, off to college, stuff like that. They're already kind of used to, to sharing, and that middle area is really awesome. So this is, this is pretty much it. So the 4098, or the 4090, excuse me, is going to be a lot... I think it's gonna be a lot deeper, a lot longer. So the, the price point on this property is? Uh, on this one probably, is, well, if once you put it on a bigger lot, it's yeah. still gonna run high sixes. So high six, high sixes. The one that uh, is the 4090? I mean, I mean, they're still probably gonna run over 700. Over 700,000. Okay, and depending on the lot, and of course, you know, we want to get a, like a big, big lot. So, this is it. I'm bringing home the floor plans as well. Oh, and then we have the additional countertop space. So there, this is pretty awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it this way. So this is pretty awesome. This kitchen is huge, by the way. And these are functional cabinets. Functional cabinets on the bottom. So I saw this on one of the models. It's like another, they called it the butler's yes. pantry. So there's like a, an additional area on top of the kitchen where you, you can just get to do this. And what is, uh, okay, and this is the pantry. This is kind of cool. I like this. I've never seen this space uh, before. So this can be like a prep station, coffee bar, wine bar. You can put a wine chiller in here, wow. coffee station. Everything. Serving area. Super awesome. All right, guys. Yeah, super dope about Texas. It's forever building. It's forever. There's so much land out here, guys, and they're forever making it bigger making it better creating more and more so texas is a great place to come invest if you guys are thinking about that great great place amazing this place. area is going to be the new area where all the model homes are uh -huh. so right over there right over here so right over there that's the model home park model home park and then straight in front of you where mm -hmm. we crossed over that roundabout yes on all four corners that they're going to be shopping and retail so some really wow. cool restaurant shops there's going to be a grocery store on that corner um and more shops and retail all all around that roundabout what's what's the best part of a about the planned communities for somebody who don't understand it the whole idea of everything is is where you, it's you want all, it. it's everything you've got the schools you have the the pools here you have it uh, the uh, tennis courts the fitness center so yep. you're not paying your hoa your yearly fee encompasses you get all of that in fitness that, center mm -hmm. pool pools, pools, trails trails yes activities that's right okay this is amazing all of that and you get to know your neighbors because every everyone that lives here the kids are going to school with yep. the same kids that go to their schools mm -hmm. uh, so 
Are these man-made? I always wondered why. These are these are man-made, so they and, are. And why do they do that? Well, these are detention lakes, so they detention rise and lakes. fall with the level of water. So okay. we are not in a flood zone. Okay, which so is very important for Texas. It's super important yes, because you will even sign paperwork attesting to that when you are at the closing table. Okay, so if it rains instead of it flooding, this will hold the water. This it is rises and falls. okay. This is meant so to, to hold it. Perfect. Right. Amazing. So Rhonda's giving me some amazing information uh, about, okay, so after the COVID, you guys know once the COVID happened, a lot of people weren't able to buy their houses or pay their rent, stuff like that. So they had the forbearance. But another thing that happened that was really important is the interest rates went to a like historical low. Can you explain a little bit more about that? And talk a little louder. Oh, so interest rates dropped to a historical low. So therefore it drove so many families to want a new home. Yes. And so the, they were able to sell their home and in turn purchase a new one. And it was a perfect time to look for new construction. So Perry has always been known for putting more homes on the ground than any other production builder. And so we were ready. We had homes for our family. So whether they wanted an inventory home or we had lots available. So um, we were able to just start building homes. We sold more homes last year than ever before in our history. And uh, so what happened to the price of? So therefore, lumber costs uh, just skyrocketed. And this became a national challenge because um, what's needed to build a home? Lumber. And so the prices just steadily every single month we were having price increases in order to keep up with the sheer demand where maybe it used to cost us thirty thousand to frame a house. You know, over the over time it was costing us about ninety grand to frame a house. So um, but good news is we had homes for families uh, to choose from and to build. So um, families were selling their homes at astronomical uh, prices and there were bidding wars on resale homes. And so uh, families and it's were so selling. easy to buy a home now Absolutely. because of the, uh, and interest rate the interest rate being so low. low. That's right, so families were able to get homes bigger than that what they had expected and uh, or had ever been able to buy before and so buying a new home and then with all of the influx of homes being built i mean our design centers were flooded and so price goes um, up supply demand right and then the supplies um there were supply shortages and also um uh, shortages in the in the labor force so um supplies started to I mean uh, who knew that that finding paint uh, for trim, garage colors, wall colors, um, you know, from material shortage, uh, appliance shortages, which many families that you can already maybe know when you try to order a refrigerator yep. from Lowe's or Home Depot, the lead time on it to even get it is tremendously long. So um, it's just been, been everywhere. But so where it used to take us maybe five months to build a home contract to close, you're looking at more like nine months just to be on, uh, it's better to shoot long than uh, so. Yeah, I don't want to over promise and under deliver. So we'll see how things go next year. It looks like interest rates are probably going to maybe tick up just a tad, but um, still the, the demand is extremely high. I've sold out my section uh, that I had in just a year. And so waiting on the new lots to release, which will release uh, in about a 30 days. So uh, we'll be moving to Model Home Park and have a new home uh, in June. So. I'm going to put Rhonda's information on the video. If you guys, um, like like you said, we're in Fulcher, yes, which is right Texas outside of Katy. If you, if you guys want to get in contact with her, I will put all her information. I know you guys have a million questions. A lot of people are, are moving to Texas from, I'm moving from California. People are moving from all over. Uh, and the big reason is you're getting these huge, humongous houses for these prices you're looking at. You're like, oh my goodness. So I'd like to put her information on. You guys can contact her. If you have any questions she's amazing she's been it's her birthday today <laughs> and she's been letting me record all this stuff and you know you guys know me you know i'm gonna ask a million questions i'm gonna dissect it i'm gonna learn it i'm gonna digest it make it my own so i could you know be successful when i make that move so this is amazing um we're having a great time in texas guys i'm gonna make sure i put the information and i'll see you guys in the next video